Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Just Tiffany V, and you guys, I'm back with another video. It's been a little minute, but I'm back. <laughs> and you guys, today I'm so excited for this video. I'm just like, my curiosity is just killing me. You know what I mean? So, um, I was at Sephora, one of my, not at Sephora, but I was at Sephora. I'm like, you know what? It's been a little minute since I had my beauty blender. It's been a year since I had my beauty blender. So today, we're gonna cut this bad boy open. <laughs> oh my gosh, I mean, look at this beauty blender, you guys. It's been through a lot. Um, it only has one tear in it though. That's I'm surprised about that. Like I really took care of it, but it's it's very dirty. Even when I wash it, it doesn't go fully pink. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in my bathroom so we can go ahead and wash it. But I just want to show you. This is how it looks after I'm finished with my makeup. This is why I need to invest in a tan beauty blender, you guys. One thing I can say. Like, once you go beauty blender, you can't go back. Like, I tried other um, beauty sponges before, and let me just tell you, it is not the same. So, trust and believe. I'm going to always stick with the beauty blender. You might see a real techniques here and there, but other than that, this is my favorite beauty sponge. So, oh, this looks so bad. <laughs> Here is the beauty blender, my very dirty year-old beauty blender. And here is the brand new clean. I mean, oh my gosh, this is too sad. This is the clean beauty blender. This is the dirty one right here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you guys, like, what have I been doing with this? Like, what, 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 what? It's not even that pink anymore. Did they enhance the pinkness since I bought a beauty blender? I feel like they have because... This looked like peachy to me. This looked like my shirt color. And this is like hot pink. So I don't know if I washed away the pinkness over time, but. Uh, Alright, you guys. So let's go ahead and head into my bathroom and try to clean this off some. Look, wish us luck. Let's do this. <laughs> Back and I clean the beauty blender. One thing I notice about the beauty blender, no matter how much I try to clean it, there's always like faded foundation that I still see like like right underneath the surface of the beauty blender the main reason why i wanted to clean the beauty blender first is because i want to see what i'm still putting on my face after i cut this open like when i cut this open i want to see if there's still foundation underneath the layer of the beauty blender just trapped in here over a year so give me a minute let me go grab some scissors and let's cut this thing open So when you look inside the beauty blender, you still see like a rim of the foundation right here that was not been able to be clean with the beauty blender cleaner. Yeah! What the freak is this? I don't know if it's mold. Nah. Can't be, right? I feel like it's dried up build up foundation, but when you touch the consistency of it's hard and it's dry and it's disgusting this is what i've been using for a year you guys all of the middle i don't even see a rim around the middle like all of this is very clean it's just this one and you know i felt this every time i cleaned my beauty blender but i thought nothing of it it just very feels very disgusting it, it does um <sighs> I wish you guys could reach over and fill it. It's like dried up hard foundation that's been storing away over a year. You can only imagine the feeling. Like you guys feel disgusting. Oh. 
Oh, you guys, I feel like my stomach is getting upset. Like, what is this? And is it mold? It can't be mold. I feel like it's dried up foundation that's been stored over a year. So one suggestion if you from watching this video, you guys definitely go ahead and wash and maintain the beauty blender. And once you see like the faded look of it or once you see like stored foundation in the beauty blender go ahead and change it out like i understand it feels like it could go on for like years and years before you have to change a beauty blender but this is something that you're rubbing into your skin on a daily basis and you're letting it dry back down don't let bacteria build up into these beauty products you guys just please because you don't want to be putting that on your face. You don't want to do it. Don't do it. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. It was very hurtful and disturbing video for me to film. I hope it's helpful for you guys. Because I was one of those persons like, hey, I'm going to use it till it falls apart. But trust me, it's not going to fall apart. It'll get a few scrapes and scratches but it'll last for a long time but still don't hold on to it especially if you still built especially if you see built up foundation just get rid of it i mean if you wash it and you still see the built up foundation you gotta let it go because it's storing and storing you're putting it all over your face and it feels feels on a brighter note, I'm very excited to pack out these beauty blenders and start using the new ones because it's about time I got my hands on a new one. And you guys will be seeing me using a tab beauty blender in the, in the near future because why get a pink beauty blender when you could get something that's close to your foundation seed so it doesn't look so dirty <laughs> oh my gosh will i ever learn <laughs> okay you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys later bye <laughs>